Let's take a look. This is uh, from Mike Furlano. He says, I'm a San Diego transplant, but Ted's voice still means San Diego sports to me. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like I said, these things that I never thought about, hey, if I can be here long enough, maybe people will like me. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, and I used to say that to John Morris when John owned the club and I'd get introduced you know, before one of those ceremonies. And there was a mixture even then of cheers and booze at my own ballpark at, at Pet Gore and, and Jack Murphy. And I said to John one day, does the statute of limitations on my television work ever run out? Will I ever be just, just, yeah, we all like him. And he said, no. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. So, but that's okay. I did it the way I did it. I hate to sound like Frank Sinatra. I did it my way, but I, it worked out and it was so much fun. And I, I never dreamed of being successful like that. Never dreamed of being, and I wish my father was alive to see it. But you know what, John? I will bet you he would never say, congratulations. Really? You did a hell of a job. And I'll give you an example of that. I interviewed Alex Spanos, hmm. the Charger owner at the time, who's now gone. And Alex told me when I, uh, we were talking before we started the interview about my father and his father, similar sorts of things. And Alex worked at the family bakery in Stockton. And he went out and told his dad, dad I'm going out on my own. I'm going out on my own. And his father said, you, what are you going to do? Same thing. Mm. No discernible talent. Mm. And what are you going to do? And uh, Alex said, I'll, I'll succeed. And his father says, you'll be back. You'll be back, meaning to the family bakery. You'll come wow. crawling back. So Alex goes out and he starts selling lunch to the migrants in the field up there in, in the San Joaquin Valley mm -hmm. and sells them bologna sandwiches. Then someone says, Alex, they really would like, you know, some Mexican food. Okay. He does that. Then he goes to the government. This, these, these, these are genius brains mm -hmm. in American business. It's not just in football, not just with the chargers. Then this is what I love about American businessmen. They're just amazing. Just able to take no for an answer. Not a chance, not a chance. He goes to the government. There's these barracks out there from World War II abandoned. And he gets them and he asks the government, will you, will you uh, rent them to me? Yeah, we'll give them to you for a dollar a year. We don't give a damn about these barracks. And then he houses these guys and charges them for that mm -hmm. and takes the money and buys some land, buys some property mm -hmm. and on and on and on and on and on until he buys the San Diego Chargers. Nice. And then buys a private jet. If you fly into this day to the Stockton airport, you'll see the AG Spanos Flight Center with mm -hmm. all their planes in there. And the great success. So Alex tells me, I'm going to be, I don't think it's knighted, but I'm getting some big time award from the premier of Greece or prime minister, whichever they call them. And this is a Greek family that really has pride in there. Mm -hmm. All the kids mm -hmm. went to Greek Orthodox school. They had to speak Greek, no matter who you were, including Dino. And uh, so he, unbeknownst to his dad, his best friend now is Bob Hope. Hmm. Alex Spanos and Bob Hope have been a bunch of uh, banquets together, and and obviously they want Alex money to sponsor these things, and Bob's the the uh, the MC and or entertainment whichever, and they become very close. They do a soft shoe, they do a soft shoe routine. They worked on together, and Alex yeah, like is so proud of it, and they put it on tape, and Alex loves it. So they invite Bob Hope and Dolores to come to Greece with Alex and Faye, his wife, and all the children, and his father and his and his mother, his his mother, and uh, they're going to go to Greece to see his son get this incredible award in Greece that he worships so much in the Greek government. Alex, did he ever say, congratulations, I'm so proud of you? Mm. Hell no. That's what you're dealing with with fathers like that. It's the old, Burt Reynolds always said, as a Southern guy, back in the South, you're not a, you're not a man until your father says you are. Ah. My father never told me I'm a man and, wow. never, and never will. And Alex has never did the same thing. And he didn't have to go crawl him back to the bakery. He could buy a national chain of bakeries if he wanted to. <laughs> and never was it, son, you really surprised me. One hell of a job. You're yeah. a billionaire now. You own a football team. You're the biggest builder of apartments in the United States of America, the AG Spanos Company, headquartered in Tampa and Las Vegas. Wow. Wow. You're amazing. Not a word till the time of his father's passing. Really? That's it. Wow. That's it.